Cameron here coming to you from Discovery Bay Marine Gear. And today we're here to talk about how to solder terminal lugs onto your power hauler wire harness. So to get started with, we're going to go over the basic tools we're going to need to do this. First is going to be our solder, and this is a 4060 rosin core solder. Mind you, that's rosin core, not acid core. We have a standard propane bottle torch, we have our heat gun, we have our razor knife. We have our shrink tubing and our three terminals that are part of the installation kit. Now the shrink tubing is waterproof shrink tubing. It's got an adhesive lining to it that will glue to the surfaces when heated up. The terminals, we have three in the package, quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths. You'd be using a pair of these depending on what battery you have. Finally, over here, we do have a vise. Uh, however, if you're out in the field, you would be able to use a vise grip. You notice I have attached it to the very tip, and the purpose of this is so when you do heat this up, the vice grip does not draw all the heat out of the solder lug as you try to solder. And this is also good to do with two people and not one hand. The first step will be cutting back the outer insulation from the wire itself. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use a short piece of wire as opposed to using a power hauler wire harness. To get started, we're going to take our razor knife and measure out approximately 5 eighths back from the end of the wire. I'm going to make a parallel cut down the middle, then I'm going to score around the outer insulation. Now mind you, this is scoring, not cutting, to keep from actually cutting the wire itself. I can now strip back the insulation, twist it up nice and neat, and go on to our next step. We now lit our torch and have set it to the lowest possible heat possible, lowest setting, and are pointing the flame directly at the base of the solder lug itself. This will only take a few seconds to preheat. I'm going to fill it up less than halfway with solder, insert our wire harness into it. We're going to hold it for five seconds to let the solder flow into the wire, remove the heat. And again, hold the harness in place for another 10 seconds, allowing it to cool. And now we'll go to the next step. Our last step will be to install our waterproof shrink tubing. I've also gone through and trimmed off all the little frays that may be sticking out after we've soldered it on. I'm going to place the shrink tubing so the midpoint of the shrink tubing is right there at the intersection of the outside insulation and the end of this terminal. This gives us an even coverage of the shrink tubing over the terminal and the wire itself. Now with the heat gun hot, I'm going to slowly apply the heat rotating around, allowing the shrink tubing to become hot. Continuing to rotate. I'm going to do this until the adhesive gets hot and starts to flow out the ends of the tubing, the shrink tubing. Now, depending on the video here, you might be able to see this in just a second. Now you can see that piece of is flowing and we're sealed completely down on the wire and the terminal itself. And that finishes the job. This concludes our video on soldering terminals onto the power hauler wire harness. And I'd like to say happy fishing, and we'll see you again in our next video.